It's as follows. Number 11 is Instant Coffee, the driver Jim McAnally, Braun 3. Number 12 is Colford Vision, Andrew Stenhouse, Braun 1. 13, A-Days Magic, Gary Dow, Braun 4. Number 14 is Georgina's Gem, Andrew Ten, Braun 2. 12 in 10 yards, number 15 is Red Gigolo, Daryl Nichol, Braun 2. 16, Johnny Thompson and Alan Hazelthwaite, Braun 3. And number 17 is Daylon Green, John Wright, Braun 1. That's the line at seven paces to face the starter for race two. Scoring up for a second race. So on the game, the Colford Division is drawn in one, a Georgina Gem in two. Instant Coffee drawn three, Maya Day's Magic on the outside drawn four. And then trailing ten yards, Daylon Green drawn one, Red Gigolo drawn two, and Johnny Thompson, the favourite, drawn in three. Scoring up for race two, the bike hold made a novice pace. Starter brings the field into the straight towards the start. Two circuits of the track in front of them. On the approach. They're off. Instant coffee was marking into his stride. a and Magic blocks it. Now slotting in behind Instant Coffee as they go to the first turn. Gap then of about two and a half lengths to Colford Vision, who is about three lengths clear of Daylon Dream as they make the run to the back straight. Johnny Thompson is off the pace, followed by Georgina's Gem, and Red Gigolo trails the tails with a good ten lengths top to tail. Seven runners going on down the back, and it's Instant Coffee who shows the way. Holds the compass, leads by two and a half lengths. A&A's Magic back in second place. Holding third is Colford Vision, being followed by Daylon Dream and Johnny Thompson. Red Gigolo is next, and right at the back, Georgina's Gem is almost pulling up, it's down to a wall. Leaving the back straight behind them, they've got two and a half furlongs of their journey, and it is Instant Coffee, the leader, by a good couple of lengths. A&A's Magic running in second place, Colford Vision a length away third. Another length and a half to Daylon Green, followed by Johnny Thompson and Reggie Gigolo, and the tailed off Georgina's Gem and gallops every now and again. Heading now towards the final half mile, and it's still Instant Coffee, leading by one and a half length. Colford Vision is taking on A&A's Magic for second place. Daylon Dream is just in behind them. The favourite, Johnny Thompson, is cruising in behind the front quartet. And several lengths opening up to Red Gigolo. Making the approach now to the back straight for the last time. Three furlongs left to go. And it is Instant Coffee, the leader. Leads by one length to a and Magic Colford Vision. Just in behind these. And Johnny Thompson skips there going around that third. Lost a little bit of momentum. On the back straight, Instant Coffee trying to extend the advantage. Instant Coffee leads by a good couple of lengths. Uh, now being shaken up, Colford Vision in second place. Aene's Magic third. And now Hayton's weight saves go with Johnny Thompson, who circumnavigates the field. They have a furlong and a half left to go. Instant Coffee now pressed by Johnny Thompson. These two moving on from Daylong Green and Colford Vision. And in a matter of strides, Johnny Thompson's in front. Inside the last furlong, down the straight, Johnny Thompson, the leader, leads by one and a half length to Instant Coffee. Back in third is Daylon Green, followed by Colford Vision, and Johnny Thompson wins this one nicely. Wins with his head in his chest in the end. Johnny Thompson by good two to three lengths. Second place goes to Instant Coffee, big run. Daylon Green third, then Colford Vision four, followed by Red Gigolo, a and E's Magic, and it all went wrong for Georgina's gem and pulled up. Judges placing, subject to the all-clear for race to number two. First number 16, Johnny Thompson. Second number 11, Instant Coffee. Third number 17, Daylon Dream. And fourth was number 12, Colford Vision. The distance is four lengths and five lengths. Four lengths and five lengths. And the official time winning horse, two minutes, 17.6. That's two minutes, 17.6. Good run there from Instant Coffee in second place. Instant Coffee was uh, fourth at Appleby last week, owned by Jack Hooley, trained and driven by Jim McAnally. And your third horse under the wire was Daylon Green, plugged on at the one pace behind in the hands of John Wright. All clear, all clear for race two. Result is official. Ladies and gentlemen, make a little bit of noise. Put your hands together for Johnny Thompson.